working to make a difference in the lives of animals without homes, passing a new law requiring stores to only sell pets from rescue groups or shelters. 23 ABC's Alexa Ray breaking down the new law for us and its potential impact on Kern County. Governor Jerry Brown signed the law requiring pet stores to work with rescues and shelters to sell dogs, cats and rabbits by the year 2019. And now shelters are preparing people for the new law. Dogs, cats, and rabbits, these are animals that will soon have to be adopted through shelters and rescues. A law signed last week giving animals living in shelters a better chance at finding their forever homes. Julie Johnson is the executive director of the local chapter of the SPCA. For far too long, animals have unfortunately um, been getting uh, bought through puppy mills or online sales, and people really don't know what they're getting. Johnson hopes this new law sends a message to people buying pets now, encouraging them to start early and adopt from shelters. We are really hoping that people are encouraged to start looking now at shelters where they may not have thought about that before. So, you know, hopefully in the next year uh, we can educate people more about the wonderful qualities of shelter pets. Shelters and rescues around Kern County believe this law ensures better treatment of animals. One, you're saving a life. And two, you know, um, staff generally try to work with animals at the shelter to really figure out their personalities and their fit and help family members find that, uh, you know, forever home for that animal and for the human being. The law does have its opponents, many pet stores believing it'll put them out of business, but supporters like Johnson think differently. It's absolutely perfect. Again, this bill was really designed to break down those backyard breeders, those cruel and inhumane breeders um, and puppy mill breeders uh, that really thrive. They don't care about the animals. California is the only state with a ban like this one, but over 200 other cities and counties across the country already have bans in place on mass breeding operations. Now it is important to note that this law does not make it illegal to buy pets from private breeders, but Johnson does add that there are plenty of purebreds and puppies available at shelters despite the stereotype that there may not be enough. Reporting live in Northwest Bakersfield, Alexa Ray, 23 ABC.